Okay. There's the new screen right there. And we gotta get that in that hole right there. So what you want to do is you just want to position it over that hole. I guess you can sort of get it started with your finger like that. See how I kind of pushed it in the hole. And what I do is I use my, my Allen key because it's nice and small and it's actually flat. If you use something like a pick, you'll most likely poke a hole through the screen. Then the screen's fucking worthless. So I usually use like my Allen head or something. And I just poke the screen down in there till it's nice and flat. That's pretty good, just like that. And uh, now what you want to do is you want to take this diaphragm like that. You want to make sure you get it on there. Like I said before, you can't put it on backwards because if you were to put it on backwards like that, it just these wouldn't cover up any holes it, it just doesn't line up you can also line it up to your cover here there's two titties sticking up out of your cover and there's only one way that can go on so you just want to put that on I like to put it on my carb first and then I put on <coughs> The gasket like this and then you can put on this cover now it's a little tricky you got to hold the throttle slightly open as you put the cover back on because the idle set screw has to do it has to do what it has to do has to hit that little fucking throttle arm so you just gotta hold that out of the way or you could back your idle all the way out and you put in your two screws in the top and there you go she's all back together with brand new internals all nice and clean Ready to fucking rock and roll. I'm going to get a smaller screwdriver and tighten them up because the number two doesn't really like those tiny screws. So uh, I'm going to reassure them up and we're going to stab this back onto the machine. Okay guys, so getting ready to install the new carburetor on the motor. And one of the trickiest parts is, is getting this fucking gasket to stay on there while you're trying to line the carb up and this cover up all at the same fucking time. It's a real fucking pain in the ass. You're just going to have to deal with me on that one. Uh, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to hook your linkage back up. Stick it in let her hang down. And then you want to hook up your hoses where they were. Mine, the big one was on the top. The small one was on the bottom. And then you want to get your... <clears throat> your carburetor bolts through the holes on the cover back where they were make sure the one with the eccentric wobble washer is on this side and then I line my carb up with my bolts I know you guys can't see but I slide the carb on the bolts like that 
and then I take this gasket and I try to get it up in there it's really hard to do especially with no fucking light and I try to get it it's really a pain in the ass Just try to get it lined up fucking best you can. You have to get it perfectly lined up because if you don't, you won't have a seal between the carb and the motor and you'll have fucking lots of problems. So you get that lined up, get the screws where they go. Get your Allen wrench ready. Try to work these babies in the hole. Try not to drop your Allen wrench. That one's in. What about this one? Alright, I think we're in. I think we're in, guys. Let me double check. Make sure the gasket's lined up. Yeah, that side is. And that side is too. We should be good. We'll tighten these up. Like this. Snug them up. Make sure your choke lever still works good. Primer bulb. Throttle. Yes, sir. So, I think we're ready to give her a shot and see if she's working. I hear the primer bulb sucking fuel, so that's good. Let's try this out.